hi there! In this episode, we'll be teaching you how we tune the Zongran, Liuqing and Pipa. Hello and welcome back to another episode of EMTV. I'm Edson and I'll be teaching you how to tune this instrument right here, the Zongran. So the Zongran has four strings, as you can tell. And it's really all tuned right now. So before we start tuning this instrument, let's see what are the things we need and also the knowledge we need before we start tuning this baby. The things you need are a chromatic tuner, tuned to 442 hertz, and of course, a pick. The guitar pick would do, or for pipa players, you would be using a faux nail, 5 of it. Okay, so I can't play the pipa, I'll be using this instead. So the Zongran has four strings. The fourth string, or the thickest string on our right, is called the fourth string. And the one next to it is the third string, the second string, and the first string. So why did I start off from the fourth string and not from the first string? Well, because the standard tuning for Zongran, Liu Xing and Pipa are usually given starting with the fourth string. So for Zongran, it's G, D, G, D. If you want to be more specific, is G2, D3, G3, and D4. Now that we know the standard tuning of the Zongran, let's move on to the tuning part of the Zongran, which is right up here, the tuning pegs. So as you can tell from the Zongran tuning pegs, it's slightly different from the Liu Xing and Pi Pao tuning pegs. Why? Because they're mechanical. So because of this mechanical tuning pack, the arrangement is slightly different as well. This corresponds to the fourth string, the thickest one, followed by the third string, second string, and first string. So tightening the zongran requires you to, you know, you have to remember from this perspective, when tightening the zongran, you turn it in an anti-clockwise motion. So you can hear it now. So right now the strings on F sharp, you have to get it to G, so you tighten it. So if you don't know how scales work, you can check out our previous videos about Tian Pu and also Pu Zheng tuning, you can find out more on that. So let's get on with tuning this tone right, shall we? So it was a F sharp, now I just have to tighten it by turning it at a anti-clockwise motion from the player's perspective, alright? I have to remember that. Tune it a little too high, so it's just all right. So right now I go to the third string. But stick around, don't go yet, because after tuning the Liu Qing and Pi Pa, there are some tips that I would like to share with you as well. So let's go on to the Liu Qing. This right here is the Liu Qing. The Liu Qing share one common feature with the Zongran is that the standard tuning for Liu Qing is similar to Zongran. So from the fourth string, the thicker string, it's G, D, G, D, but one octave higher, so remember that. Other than that, everything about the Lutin is different from the Zongran, starting with the tuning pads. They're not mechanical. Another special feature on the Lutin that you don't get on the Zongran or Pipa is this, the fine tuners. So why do we have fine tuners for Lutin? Because Lutin strings break way easier than Zongran and Pipa. And because these are not mechanical tuners, so the placement for the tuning pad is 4th string, 3rd string, second string and first string. So another thing to take note when you're tuning the Liu Qing or even the pipa which we'll be going on later is that because they're non-mechanical so when you're tuning the Liu Qing you have to push it in like this. I mean it's a precaution because it might slip. So push it in. So as you're tuning remember to do this motion. Push it in. You can hold this up Liu Qing. Hold this up Liu Qing and push it. 
Alright, so let's start tuning. So you can see that I'm doing this in really small motion them from breaking. So this the thinner string breaks the easiest. And now. Okay, so we're almost in range. This is where you use defined tuners. So turning this way tightens which means the string will go higher so. so similarly if it's too high you can always unwind it Now let's go on to the P part. And this right here is the P part. The P part has a different standard tuning from the Zong and Liu Xing. It's A, D, E, A. And because it's a non-mechanical tuning peg, so you have to push it in similar to the Liu Xing. And similar to the Liu Xing, this is the fourth string, the third string, second string, and first string. So I'll tune this side. Why? Because when you're tuning this side, you have to push it on your lap like this. So when you're tuning, this ensures that you have gravity helping you. So as you're tuning, you'll be pushing it down. And I'll be tuning the second string. Once you're done with this side, you can just bring it back up and you can tune these two sides. So while tuning this side, you can push this side of your body, the P pass body I mean. <laughs> so you'll be tuning this side, pushing this side of the body to counter the strength. Okay, so just push it and tune. you tune the pipa. So remember earlier in the video I told you that there are some tips that I would like to share with you in regards to tuning Zongra and Liu Qing pipa is that because unlike the Liu Qing, the pipa in Zongra doesn't have a fine tuner. So if you realize that you have tuned your lute, the pipa too high, you can always pull your string like this. Okay, so if it's like for example too high, you can always pull it down. So similarly, you can do this to all four strings of the pipa and zongra. But don't do this too much on the Liu Qing because you might break the strings. And there you have it. I hope that this has been a very helpful video for you. If you have any more questions, you can always contact us on Facebook, Instagram or even YouTube. Leave your comment below if you have any more questions or you would like to share your way of tuning these three instruments. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!